Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at making um, a particular type of background um, or a wallpaper image and uh, we're going to be looking at the, uh, the rendering of a flame. Um, the final thing that we're going to look at um, is just how to customise your own colour maps for these. Um, once you've played around with these you know, to your heart's content, you do find that the colour maps that are presented with us to begin with are fairly limited. Um, so the final thing that we're going to look at is just going to be how to add some extra colours to your colour map. So we'll just go through this process one more time. Um, filters, render, nature, flame. And when you go down to the colour map down here, you can see that there are um, a couple of extra options. These, um, the Grish Josette through to Sunny Harvest, all of these are preset colour maps. Custom gradient is based on the the way that the gradient goes from the foreground to the background colour. So whatever your foreground and background colour will be um, will determine what your custom gradient is. So if I just click on custom gradient here you can see that it's black to white. If I um, was to change my custom gradient, so I'll just do that very quickly, so we'll just have something like red and blue back into my flame dialog and we pick custom gradient again. This time you can see the custom gradient has changed so that will give us a very different colour profile up here. Um, the other thing that we get is whichever layers we have can be used as a colour map as well. So we've got three layers at the moment which correspond to these three layers up here. So we have two um, alpha layers or two transparent layers and one solid black layer. Now the three of those will be useless for colour maps. So what we're going to need to do first is colour one of these layers um, and we can use one of our patterns for example. So if I go to pattern fill and choose warning for example and then just paste um, fill this in we can see that this is going to give us a very yellow and black um, colour map. So if I go through to filters and render nature flame which you're going to get sick of hearing me say and then go down and pick this layer which was the one we just coloured in you can see that it gives us that black and yellow um, flame colour based on the on this layer okay so we can see that um, black and yellow um, flame pattern that we've got and you'll notice that it's actually replaced that layer um, so whichever one you've used as your background layer whichever layer you're working on it actually replaces the whole of that layer with just the flame that you've um, created. So you always need to make sure if you're superimposing one flame on top of another um, to get various effects, you need to make sure you're always working on separate layers. So with this um, final layer that we've got open, um, I'll just use a different pattern. Uh, so we'll go back to the maple leaf pattern. And um, you can see that's just pasted over the top. But when I very quickly just go through to um, the flame option again and we'll go down to uh, that one for our colour map and we'll edit it so we can get a different shape I'll maybe try and put something in this uh, this black space up here so we'll have uh, and there we have that place there now these aren't particularly great or artistic but I just wanted to demonstrate how these could be used um, for you to you know, create your own original uh, wallpapers and backgrounds using the flame tool. So I hope you found that useful, um, particularly the, the kind of hack to create your own flame colour maps which is um, you know, something that isn't necessarily obvious when you, you first get GIMP out of the box. So uh, I hope you found it useful and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.